you for some some of you already know sister princess uh sister princess uh you know was living in sin uh and she'll tell you the story about how she was living in sin and then how god just touched her life and now she has given fully her life to jesus Just a couple of weeks ago, you know, she she will. If you were to ask her, do you know for sure if you die today, you go to heaven? She will say no. All right. But then she she recognized what Jesus did on the cross for her, that He died on the cross for her, and that there's nothing she can do to save herself. But the only thing that she can do is surrender her life to Jesus and give her life to Jesus, and then. Just, just to see what God is doing in her life. You should have seen her when she first came in. I mean, depressed, going through a lot of things. Uh, you know, she'll share with you uh, all the things that she was going through. And now, I mean, she comes and she has joy in her heart, smile on her face. And uh, just, just to see you know, a different person. And, and that's what God does. You know, that's what Sister Sharita was talking about. That when God touches you, you're no longer the same. And so we give uh, God the glory. And of course, that doesn't mean that everything is just uh, pain, roses, and, and nice and beautiful. We still have to battle. We still have to go through the cares of this world and fight against the devil. And we still have troubles and tribulations in our lives. We all could attest to that. You know, we all have battles that we're fighting every day. But now it's different. Now because we got Jesus. Now we have victory over those battles. Princess, tell us a little bit about what was your life without Jesus and living in sin, just briefly. Yeah, um, so it was pretty short. I went to college and I started seeking other ways outside of the Bible and Christianity. I was kind of lost and I was like that for four or five years. And I know my mom kept pushing me to go back to Christ, to go back to Jesus Christ. And I was just not listening. And I saw my life going down, down and down. I was living in sin. It was just really, really bad. A lot of depression, panic attacks. And just a few weeks ago, I started coming back and listening to her and coming to church. And I saw how the pastor was really in on me. And he really wanted me to do better. And I started giving my life back to Jesus. And I just saw the changes in my life. So, yeah. What's, what's your life like now with Jesus? So I'm very at peace now. I read the Bible at night before I go to bed. I'm just, I feel the Holy Spirit in me all the time. Yeah. 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 I'm no longer depressed. I'm no longer depressed. I, it's just every time I come here, I just feel a boost of confidence. Hallelujah. Oh. So, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Baptized, uh, just following, following the steps of Jesus, right? uh, in obedience to what the Word of God says, you know, an ordinance that God, uh, Jesus Himself did, and we're followers of Jesus, right? So we, she's deciding to follow Jesus. So she say, hey, well, that's that's the next step. I made a profession of faith. I put my faith and trust in Jesus. The Holy Spirit now is in me, and I'm I'm willing to go all the way, right? Uh, with baptism and whatever God takes her uh, to go. So, uh, are you ready to get baptized? All right. So let's let's go ahead and get in the pool uh, back there. Jesus as the Lord and Savior of your life? Yes. All 
right? And uh, do you recognize that he died on the cross for your sins? Yes. Do you believe in that? Yes. And do you believe that he's the son of God? Yes. And that he rose from the dead? Yes. And that he's coming back again? Yes. And then when you die, you will go with him uh, in heaven. You go with him in, to heaven? Yes. All right. And are you making a decision to follow him till you die? Yes. All right. So open your profession of faith. In the Lord Jesus Christ, cover your nose. Just put your hand right here. Uh, upon that profession of faith, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and the Son Jesus Christ, and in the, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I baptize you. Upon that. Jesus' mighty name, we praise you and we glorify you. Amen. 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 